Buenas a todos chicos, estamos aquí con Perks, el AD Carry de... Bueno, AD Carry, o AP Carry, de según le venga en gana, de G2, que acaba de conseguir el segundo puesto tras el desempate contra Griffin, que ha quedado el primero del grupo. First of all, thank you very much for being here. Uh, congratulations for making it to out, to, out of group, so you're going to Madrid. Um, you got the second seat, which uh, makes me feel like a bittersweet flavor, you know. Uh, how was it for you and what happened in the end? Mm, well, it obviously like sucked a little bit to get second seed, right? Because we are expecting to get first. We didn't expect to lose, but it's fine. Like I, I don't, you know, now at this point, it doesn't really make me feel literally any worse. Like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, it still kind of sucks that we lost. So, so like we got it was so one sided. It wasn't even close the games. Yeah. So it just but that in that scenario, it shows us how much actually we have, we have to improve on in one week because. We were just literally missing fundamentals of league, which just disappeared in our games today. So uh, it's not like we were losing lanes or I didn't feel like enemies are just much better than us. It was mm -hmm. more like we are just running it down. And that kind of game feels much better than compared to like last year IG at Worlds. It just felt like, oh, enemy is just better than us. We mm -hmm. actually can't win against them. But against this team, I don't really think it's like that because we were winning our lanes. Like literally like a, a lot of us were winning, just, just winning lanes every game in matchups. Or at least for both, it was seemed kind of easy, and I feel like their team was better, and I think I can learn from them as well because I think the both and player around it well, and mm -hmm. I got some stuff from them. So I'm I'm kind of I'm very I'm, I'm looking very positive towards mm -hmm. towards this outcome. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's interesting to see that uh, the the team who's supposed to be the best in the world are talking about learning. Uh, the thing is that uh, people are thinking like, oh no, they are doing it on purpose. They, they don't want to face, uh, they want to face SKT in World Finals or maybe in semis. They want to face, uh, is, is, there's a plan behind this because okay, is it too there and defeatable? What do you think about this kind of comments? Oh. Because it's like, okay, we can bleed and we are learning, but people are like, nah. Come on, they are uh, they are pretending. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean. Like, literally every time we lose, we lose because someone is better than us, mm -hmm. not because we are actually trolling. So <laughs> uh, when someone plays bad, it's not because he's trolling. It's probably just because enemy is having a better game than them. Like happens to every one of us. Mm -hmm. It's not like we are all. Some of us are exclusive. So it's. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of funny to read, right? But like, uh, definitely shows that. People think wrong, right? <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's just a little bit funny, yeah. I find mm -hmm. it funny. And what about the drafts? Because I, there, there are also people that are thinking like, okay, they lost, but they didn't show any secret card. Mm. For example, you took Zoe, and it comes to my mind that it's the first time you pick being an and sure, I carry yeah, in yeah. LEC. Yeah. So um, why uh, these drafts? Uh, because sometimes it can kind of look crazy, and do you have much more hide it than sold? Well, we definitely have like a lot of, that is true though, we have a lot of strategies that we didn't, didn't show yet. And that sometimes we don't know what is actually the best one to show because we do play a lot of stuff and we try a lot. So you're gonna have more talks about draft because draft is honestly the most important thing yeah, anyways so, yeah. going into games. So like for example, the second game against Griffin, like the draft was just felt giga unplayable and It's not like I'm blaming Rubs here. Yeah. The Rubs sucks, <laughs> of course. <laughs> It's more like the the champions we opt to play in yeah. uh, are not always like the best because we either feel emotional in the moment and we decide to go for something that's like not very good, mm -hmm. or we just think maybe we can outplay them. So there's like some stuff that definitely we can fix in the preparation. I wouldn't say we were like very prepared going into today. Uh, I we didn't even prepare like we didn't really prepare as a team. We were more just like went on the fly and kind of like uh, let coaching staff take over completely. But a lot of times it's like the, the, the relationship between coaching staff and players where like we prepared, we, we prepared to talk about stuff. But this time around we just went with what we practiced for before, like for last games. So we kind of knew what we were going to play. But it's not like we did something really new or crazy or mm -hmm. something we could actually show off in quarterfinals. So. There's definitely more to see from us, yeah. Mm -hmm. I let you as you're talking about drafts and, and the picks you, you, you have. Uh, you, we, we can see uh, many matches, uh, Jankos and Bunda 
kind of choking like zero six zero five zero seven uh, is it because of the picks is it because of the playing style like you're, you're playing for bot lane or is it i don't know are they nervous are they mm. mm, overconfident well i wouldn't really say they are they are choking i think Uh, I think Wunder played well most of the games. Mm -hmm. I think Jankos had like one or two games off, mm -hmm. but it's more like we, like it kind of goes, it, it goes a lot of, like it can be a lot of things, like for example, a lot of drafts, it's like, if someone performs well, it's probably Nas, Asna playing well around it, and also Asna having the same picture of what you want to do in the game with the player who is playing it. So it can be either them misplaying or us uh, misplaying or playing around them. And depends like what games but like I, i mean i could go into details right but it's like yeah. it's really whatever everyone has like off games and yeah we just have to be i guess more confident in the jobs that we play and then we should do good mm -hmm. and to the people who says oh my god they are losing and they are laughing um why or what happened when you are getting i mean for example the the, the first match against griffin today that, that you lost uh you were kind of laughing and we could see that uh Why was that? Is it because you are calm, you're confident, or is it that because you are like that? Yeah, I'm, I was laughing. I mean, I wasn't really like laughing. I mean, I wasn't like crying. Mm -hmm. I wasn't smiling. I mean, I don't know if people expect me to like sit on this chair for 15 minutes like, <laughs> like someone else, <laughs> yeah. right? So I, I don't really, I don't really know. I mean, there may be like just depends on people's perspectives, I guess. Like, you don't learn anything by crying. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, if I lose a role, they might cry, right? But like crying in a games where it's all about learning right now is like I, I, it's kind of a weird question for me yeah. right so uh, it's more like you better smile and mm -hmm. take it off with a humor and then learn from it rather than like if you take everything in life 100% serious like your life depends on it then your life is not going to be so happy so you, may, you might as well like try your give your best mm -hmm. but still enjoy it and laugh right yeah. like if we lost today Yeah, I'm not gonna go and flame myself and my my teammates for running it down. Uh, yeah, let's just be sad now and let's lose worlds. You know, it's more like we should actually laugh it off and just learn from it, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we lost, sucks, but we will win next time. Thank you so much for your answer. Yeah. That was my last question. Is there anything you want to say to the people who are supporting us? Uh, well, well you, sorry. <laughs> uh, I would really like to thank you all, of course, and. Especially, uh, this is like Spanish outlet, right? Yeah. So I, I'm looking forward to playing in Spain because I missed it last year. We didn't call from Madrid, which was really sad. But now I'm coming to Spain and G2 was created in Spain. <laughs> Gamers too, the good old times. So <laughs> I have a lot of Spanish, like Spanish people writing to me and supporting me. So I'm really, uh, I'm really hyped to go to Spain. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you very much for yeah. being here. Yo eso ha sido todo, chicos. Espero que os haya gustado la entrevista. Muchas gracias a Nvidia por hacer lo posible. Y nada, nos vemos en la próxima con esta y muchas más en el canal de YouTube de Sport Maníacos. Hasta luego.